If you want the carbon fiber trim in the interior, it could cost you up to $2,200 if you want that special name brand, which I always butcher. I think it's called, I gotta get my phone here, it's called Weissach, Wisher, W-E-I-S-S-A-C-H. I don't know how to pronounce it. I'm pretty sure it sounds pretty cool in German, but that could run you $2,200. If you want a generic one, it could run you close to $2,000 or I saw one on sale for like $1,700. But here recently, I was on eBay and I saw one for under $200. And I was like, man, ah, that's $200 that you're gonna just burn up, right? And I looked and of course it's from Guangzhou, China. I'm also not, I've got German words, Chinese words. But anyways, I looked at it and I was just like, this looks pretty good. I mean, in the pictures. So I said, you know what? We're gonna take the risk for you guys. Cause that's what we do here in the channel. We, we're gonna buy stuff, try it out. You know, we're gonna be the guinea pigs. And if it works out, then you guys can benefit from it. Do people even test on guinea pigs? I don't know. Anyways, so I ordered it and I thought like anything from China that it would take like three or four months to get here because I had to go through a transport ship, a plane, through the Amazon, through the Panama, through California, but actually got here pretty quick. And I think I had a label from California. So yeah, anyways, but it got here quick. That's my main point. And let me tell you when I started pulling out the parts, because here's the parts, I was actually impressed. Now I'm not sponsored guys. I wouldn't do this because I mean you guys, Porsche guys would like hang me because you'd be like, no, don't be trying to make us buy something that's, you know, I'm not sponsored. This is straight me trying stuff and right away, this looks super good for $200. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna install it. We're gonna do it in the garage and then we're gonna go out into the daylight and get some pans for you and let you know what we think and how it went and if it's, and if it's worth the 200 bucks. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the trim that runs in the dash. And if this works out and looks good, I'm gonna get the one where the shifter is. And to be honest with you, when I'm done, we probably would pay $350 for something that would've cost us $2,000. The point is, is this stuff worth it? And is it good quality? And can you get a good deal? All right, let's get started. So we're gonna go ahead and unbox all the pieces and you guys can see this while I'm doing it, so. All these little pieces, and they're all real carbon fiber. They're all a little tiny. And I have not unboxed all of them, so if something's wrong, we will see it together. All right, and we have a long piece right here. And so far, let me tell you, that looks pretty good. I mean, the clear coat, <laughs> the clear coat looks good. The weave looks symmetrical and it actually looks really nice. To be honest with you, I've always wanted the carbon fiber trim. I wasn't about to fork up two grand for it, but we're gonna find out how this works out because my GT4 actually has every single option it came with except the carbon fiber trim. So this is really neat. So when we flip this over, there looks like there's some 3M double-sided tape. And I kind of like that because just in case we gotta pull it off, um, you know, maybe it's not gonna damage the silver aluminum trim we have too much, and it's not gonna, you know, it's not on there with just a bunch of glue. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. So, so far, the fitment looks pretty darn cool, and it fits right, so I'm impressed. Really, really am. So let's just go ahead and do it. Okay, again, I've never done this, never dealt with this company, but I'm going to just, Use some common sense here. <laughs> you know, I'm always talking smack to my wife about her nails. And right, because she's got long nails. And I'm, I, I can't handle long nails, but right now I am jealous of long nails. Oh, looks like this one is trying to take its adhesive with it. So we're gonna have to start over here. So far, everything's working pretty good except that one side. The adhesive wanted to come up with the actual tape like this one does. All right, I got that off, boom. Okay, so now if I remember, if 
flip it. All right, at least this is, I gotta focus here because kinda got a one shot like Eminem. We got one shot. Whoa. <laughs> and we did one. And so far that looks pretty darn good. All right, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do the rest so you guys don't have to watch all this and they will show you the finished product. So we got this side installed and let me tell you, we are impressed. I would say that the fitment is about 95%. And the reason why I say that is because everything looks beautiful. We're super, super pumped up, but there's kind of like the slightest area where you could see a little bit of silver where we were messing with this one a little bit, a couple of times. Um, but it, like I said, I would say it's like 95% to like 98%. Um, and it looks amazing. And that's just nitpicking. Cause I know you guys will nitpick, but again, for the price, this is absolutely amazing and it's a game changer in the look of the car. It really, really is. So we got all of them on and let me tell you, I'm pumped up. Now, again, the company would probably say it's user error, but you guys know we, we, did, we do stripes, you know, we do ceramic coat, we do polishes. I'm a master tech, um, you know, there's a slight little variance right here, but besides that, it looks amazing. And for the price, it looks really, really good. And the good thing is, and I'm gonna say this again, I could take it off. Like we've taken off a few pieces to readjust. And of course, uh, like Elise said, um, you know, over time the adhesive might get gooey, but taking them off is not difficult, which is a good thing. So, I mean, besides, a little corner there, I would say, I would say this was a home run overall. We're gonna leave it on because again, a lot of people aren't gonna notice that corner. And not only that, we're just gonna go ahead and get the center console to complete that part. And I think they might even do the ones for the doors. We'll find out. But really, this is awesome. So at this point, we're gonna go outside and we're gonna give you some footage of it with the sun and actually show you how it really looks because Outside is better than indoors. So I'm gonna call this a success. So since I've owned my GT4, I've wanted that carbon fiber trim. I think it really makes the interior pop and I've always wanted it, but that $2,000 price is just a little bit unreasonable for me. So this was really cool trying this out at about under 200 bucks. I sent them an offer at the time, it was the last one. I think I just checked right now, they have a few more, but I'm gonna put the link for the product in the description, but you guys gotta know it is from China. I know some people might get a little bit offended by that, but we've all heard the rumors, we've all heard the news and the gossip about quality control and about IP issues, but I would say I've seen both spectrums. I've seen some really bad stuff come from China, and of course, in the other spectrum, the DJI drones are absolutely phenomenal, top-notch products. I would say this is great, but in one of the small trim pieces where the ignition goes, there's about a centimeter of the uh, original trim showing. It looks like it wasn't sculptured or formed right. Uh, that's okay because again, you would only know that if you know the car, if you're looking for it, but I thought I'd tell you guys so you have all that data and information. Well, thank you for watching the video. Please hit the like button if you liked the video and hit the subscribe button because we always welcome you to be part of our crew. We appreciate it. You guys stay safe, take care, and we'll talk to you soon.